Namaskar everyone. My name is Anpak Sharma and welcome back to another interesting video which is Atom, Molecule and Elements. We all have come to these words in our daily life. But what are they? So first we would be understanding some basic knowledge about them. We all know there are three states of matter. From childhood we all are learning that there are three states of matter which are solid, liquid and gas. But do you all know that there are four states of matter? Yes, there are the four states of matter. The fourth state of matter do exist and the name of the fourth state is plasma. Unlike other, other elements, the plasma is also the part of matter. So there are four states of matter. But today our topic isn't about the states of matter. So let's focus upon it. The states of matter are the side knowledge which we should know before understanding atom, molecule and elements. So first of all let's take atom. So look at all the things around you. Right? Your computer, your finger, your desk and even the trees outside. They are all made up of atoms. They are so tiny that it would take billions, no, 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 billions and billions of them to just make a dot of the letter I, which is in the word atomic. Isn't that interesting? So, atoms are made of even smaller parts, which are the central nucleus made of protons and neutrons and electrons circling around the atom which is having a special pattern called orbital. So we all have known a basic knowledge about the atom and there is an atom diagram here. So we can make it clear much better. Now let me tell you some interesting facts about atom. Now just now we have recalled the four states of matter. So, we all know that matter are consisting some smaller units also. So, atom is the building block of the matters. And the second interesting fact is that there are at least 112 known types. And 92 number occurs in the nature only. Now, what are they made up of? Just now we have seen that they are made up of proton. Neutron and electrons. Now let's talk about mass. Protons and neutrons have the same mass. Yes, but electrons have 2000 times less mass than the proton or the neutron. Now we have known that what are atoms and also know some interesting facts about them. Now let's talk about molecule. A molecule is an electrical neutral group of two or more atoms held together by chemical bonds. Molecules are distinguished in from ions by their lack of electrical charges. In quantum physics, organic chemistry and biochemistry, the distinct of ions is dropped and molecule is often used referring to pluralistic ions. Now, we all have seen that the atom, molecules, what are they? But the main thing is, what is the element? So, in chemistry, an element is a pure substance consisting only of atoms that have the same number of protons in their nuclei. Unlike chemical compounds, chemical elements cannot be broken down into simpler substances by any chemical reaction. Number of protons in nucleus is defining, defining property of element and is referred to as atomic number represented by the symbol Z which is a capital Z. All atoms have with same atomic number are same atoms of same element. Now we all have same basic knowledge about element. Now see here there is a periodic table. We all can see that. Here there is a table which is telling about all the elements present in the nature. All around us this is the table. 
table which tells about the natural elements and the below table tells about the elements which are made by the scientists in the laboratory. Now over here there are some elements which are to be read. Now let me tell you how to read the elementary table. The elementary table has been given four things in each block. Now what are those four things? The elementary table tells about the atomic number in that element. So the atomic number is thing how many atoms are existing in all these atoms. Now let's take an example of hydrogen which is having just one atom inside it. And it is the first element of the elementary table. So here the elementary table tells us that hydrogen has the one atomic number and is also placing it at the first place. Now hydrogen is having a chemical symbol. Each of these elements has their own chemical symbol which is present in the periodic table. Now even they have their own chemical name. So hydrogen is having their chemical name as hydrogen, right? Now the fourth thing which is there is relation of atomic mass. Now what is the relative atomic mass? This is that atom containing in that is telling them about the mass. So here hydrogen is having just one atom. That's why the atomic mass is just one. Unlike hydrogen, the, all the elements which are present in the periodic table has their own chemical name, chemical symbol and atomic number with the relative atomic mass. These would be telling you uh, in our next videos which would be made. The next video would be about hydrogen and you will be getting many interesting facts about them and also the other elements present in that periodic table. So right now let's focus on our video. And let's turn on to the interesting fact. It is interesting fact time. Molecules are formed when atoms group together with other atoms. Molecules can be made of same elements or different elements to form a compound. Now I hope you have enjoyed these interesting facts and also know about the element, atom and molecules. Also recall the four states of matter, solid, liquid and gas and also plasma. And also know what is a periodic table and also know what is the natural elements and what are these scientific elements which are made in the laboratory. And what is an atom structure, what is the atomic number of hydrogen. Other elements are also having the atomic number, chemical symbol, chemical name and atomic mass. So we have also seen how to read a periodic table and also understand about all these and also enjoyed the interesting facts. So in our next video we will be talking about hydrogen and also seeing all the interesting facts about it. So till my next video, stay home, stay safe, thank you and bye bye.